All right, so I just wanted to make a quick refresher on the volume profile that I use. Um, this is on Trend Spider. And so the parameters that I've got uh, for the volume profile is this here. I do 30 columns and align them to the left. Um, that way, because if they're, if they're on the right, it's kind of, I don't know, it's not as easy to, to spot exactly where they're gonna hit because you have so much information in the way. Um, just swap those over to the left. Now you get these really clean lines right underneath it. Um, I like to make it a color that's, you can definitely see it from the background of your chart, but it also blends in. So it's not um, kind of obstructing the, the main candles. Uh, so again, a normal morning, what I do is try to find a nice uh, range pretty much from whatever stock you're doing. We're gonna do SPY, um, use the hourly chart, you can definitely do this on daily, weekly, monthly, whatever it is. Um, but just for like the day, for day trading, this is my normal routine. So perfect. We got the hourly set up here. You can see this is going to be a huge level as that is a massive volume shelf. This is going to be a huge level. That's the anchored VWAP. That's your point of control. Um, the point of control is the highest volume bar. So um, I would actually... Also, I mean, now that we have more data because we're, you know, coming towards the end of the day, uh, this isn't valid for today's day trading, but this would be valid for tomorrow morning. Uh, so I'm going to pull from this low and then I'm going to get all of this. And now you can see, okay, this level here, this 439, that's going to be a key level. And uh, this 443 is going to be a key level. It should move pretty freely through here because you can see there's not many shares being traded in there. Uh, but what will be tricky is for it to break over this level right here. So this would be kind of a breakout level if you were trading, um, uh, like if you're, if you're making a watch list or something, this would be my long, this would be my short. So that 440 level would be my long, this 439 level would be my short. Under 439, it should fall to this one here, 438, 26. Obviously, don't take your profits there. Uh, just be aware that it could bounce there and watch it closely. This would be the target here, 436.60, which is the um, the anchored VWAP from this level down here. Um, so now that you have your hourlies figured out, scale down to 15 minutes. Uh, these lines will continue to print on the 15 minute, even though you mark them on the hourly. Um, so again, you want to pull a 15 minute chart from the low to the current candle. And you can see this little bit right here, just from that block to that block is gonna be a little bit of a range. Um, so, I don't know what the hell is going on. So that's gonna be a little bit of a range for it. Just because this right here is, uh, you know, it's gotta break over that 440 level and the sellers would try to prevent that the buyers would try to prevent it from falling underneath that level there. Um, <clears throat> and so now you know that if it does break over that level, again, it confirms that you have this full range of motion up to 443, which is the POC up here. And if it were to break beneath this level, uh, you can expect it to hit this level and catch itself, this 437 level, because that is a large volume shelf. And then the ultimate target would be this one here at a 436.30 area. And I, you can look at either the, the top, which is 436.55, or the bottom of the level, which is 436.14. I tend to go for right in the middle because the candle might close above it, but it will wick down to here. So it's nice to just have a little level like that. Um, I actually traded off of the 15 minute um, this morning, and that one was done before I had all this, before I had all this data. Um, and I believe it was marked over here. Uh, I don't really remember where I had it marked just because now I have so much more data, but 437 was the exact level. Um, I posted it many times, and as you can see, we came very close to touching that 436.06. This was my level, 437.01, and it was the anchored VWAP, so this was actually down here. Um, bounced perfectly off of that. You can see that 440 level is holding strong up here, and now we can scale down to a five minute. So you can do this on every time frame. Scale down to a five minute and pull this from the low. So you wanna grab one of these candles down here at the bottom. 
you can see this POC, that should be a, an important level for it, 439.44. Um, again, it can break through it. We're on a five minute chart. These aren't gonna be extremely strong, but these are the levels that you gotta look out for. So this 439.44 level should hold. If that breaks, this is your next key level, this anchored VWAP. So that's gonna be 439 even. So if it were to continue breaking down from that, then you would you'd watch this. This is the bottom of that volume block. So 438.78, it would fall to this, 438.54. And again, these are not targets. They're just, they're levels to watch. They're super close to each other. You don't have to worry about them. Look for the larger ones. So like if it broke this level, I would look for this one here, 437.80. And if it breaks that, you gotta look at these lows because you have no information down here. That's when you gotta scale back up to 15 minute and uh, start looking at these ones down here. You know what I mean? So you're always gonna be using previous data. And again, that's the five minute. Again, you can use this on a one minute. So again, pull down here and look at that. It's holding that, that POC. You can see that is a key level. It went down to the very bottom of that, bot, that volume shelf, like flawlessly. Closed both candles above that. And now if it pushes up, it can hit the top of this candle, 439.70. So that's where I would bet if it were to bounce, <clears throat> it would probably top out there. And if it continues to fall, it might bounce again right here, this 439.50 level, and uh, eventually make its way down to this one down here, 439.13. So it's really fun to, to print these on your charts and just kind of see how the levels react. You can see it bouncing perfectly right on that POC. So you can see that it's reacting right there. Um, and that's kind of how you know that you're pulling from the right spots if that makes sense and you can you can also pull like right here and just get like very scalpable movements if that makes sense so right now we just pull from this little low all the way to the current candle and you have an anchored VWAP right here which is almost the same as this this level that we've got and then uh, you also have this POC right here which as you can see this candle opened up right beneath that and now it's falling let's see if it reacts uh, 439.50 level, uh, which it is. But this looks like uh, it might be on, uh, it's volume is fine actually, it's not, not the best. Okay, it is increasing over the last candle, so it might continue to sell. Um, but yeah, you can see that it, it is respecting that level. It opened up underneath that POC and immediately dumped. Uh, so now we just gotta see if it holds this, this volume. There we go and it's got 10 seconds to go to reclaim this POC. And if it doesn't reclaim at least that one, it'll probably continue to sell off. Um, these are, in my opinion, the most consistent way to make money. It closed, it opened up underneath that, that POC, which is uh, typically not a very good sign if you're bullish. But uh, yeah, I hope that this helps. Happy to make more extensive videos on the, the, the volume profile. Uh, this is the greatest tool that TrendSpider and TradingView have.